So, guys, new adventure. We're headed to Crescent Beach. Yes, we are. We're taking the lamb. We're taking the trailer with the goat on top. We're taking the tea. And we're uh, heading out. It's Friday afternoon. It's gorgeous. It's like 50-something degrees. Sun is shining. And we're going to head to the peninsula. And Why are we going? Well, a peninsula? couple of reasons. Mobile RV places do not come to Maple Valley. Um, they just don't. They, they are just down south. Don't. They are up north. Or they are on the peninsula. That's it. Nobody comes to this area. So... We ran into a challenge because our Aqua Hot, which is our lifeblood of this motorhome, yeah. they're super expensive systems. Yeah. So our Aqua Hot is basically, if you think of like one of those instant hot water heaters, but it's for our entire motorhome. It yeah. heats our floors, it heats our motorhome, it heats our water. It, it's everything, everything for our motorhome. Everything. So it's it's starting to give us problems. Yeah. I was going to try and repair it, but Bug gave me the, let's just have a a true aqua guy do it and that's a good idea because this guy came highly recommended he's got a youtube channel my rv works i mean it's never worked perfectly yeah. like we're supposed to bug's supposed to be able to take like a 40 minute shower if she wants to with constant hot water mm -hmm. and we, we just haven't had that mm -hmm. so the deal was is we talked to him and said hey we live in maple valley he's like i don't go past the hood canal bridge so we're like what if we come to you so mobile repair rv They'll come to us if we come to him. Right. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to go over to a campsite over on the peninsula yeah. um, within his... Territory. His, right, his territory. That way, he's going to be able to service it. He's going to talk us through it. Teach and we'll be us. able to yeah, figure it out, service it on our own. So we'll spend a few hours with him on Saturday. We're going to go exploring the, the rainforest. Reason. Yeah, the second reason we're going. Because Bug has been wanting to do that since we've moved here. We've been here seven years, and we have not done the... The rainforest the whole, hoe. The whole rainforest. Um, and the funniest thing was, is Bug was texting me, and she's like, I don't need to pack anything. I was trying to think, <laughs> what do I need to pack for this weekend trip? It's like, we have everything we own in here. But mentally, you're like, I got to pack this. I got to make sure I remember this. I'm like, it's here. And then the bigger thing, I am uh, mentioned it to my Patreon members, is that the real estate that we have here is going to be a little tough mm. to back the lamb up to the trailer with the goat on it. So we were... I think we have the real estate... It's getting out of here. We've got oh. a tight gate oh. with a tight two-lane blacktop road with ditches. So it's not like we can go off pavement. Uh, and, and there's a mailbox strategically placed in the worst spot it could be. Yeah. So it's so I think what we're going to have to do is we're going to uh, hook the tilt trailer to the goat, take it off-site somewhere, and then back the motor up to the trailer, pull the goat on it, and secure it uh, off-site. Because I'm just nervous of pulling... Um, 60 plus feet out of here. I just, I don't think we can make it. All right, Buggy, look. let's get started. So we found a park and ride. We're gonna take, I'll drive the Jeep and trailer to a park and ride. Joe will drive the motorhome. And then there we will combine the two, load up the goat on the trailer and hit the road. Lots to come. Stay tuned. There she is. That's an eight inch drop hitch. And she's still. <laughs> okay. All right. Here's. Okay. 14. Buggy. Hold on. Buggy. Buggy. Copy. Woo, that's loud. And there goes the goat. Towing the trailer that usually the goat is on. I don't know back. how you do this for a living. This is so stressful. Listen to the bug. Do it all the time, bug. Do it all the time. Okay, I've got her parked and I'll come back to you. Here we are at the park and ride. Now we're going to put the goat on the trailer. Well, we're going to attach the trailer to the lamb and then put the goat on the trailer. So this is us. This is our life. This is how we will travel the country. She's beautiful. She's big. She's ours. Come on, T. And we're heading to the peninsula. Let's get out of here before we run out of daylight. Okay, here we go. We're not doing that, T. We're not. This will be T's first motorhome. No, nope. down. And so she's just not quite sure who is what. Nope. And you don't get my seat. I 
think that's the problem. Go lay down, T. Woo, there's the highway before us. Here we go. I can't believe we're doing it. Three hours to go. Let's go. Look at my boo over there driving. No bug, just a bug. He's got his pajamas on. He's got yep. his... A Jeep shirt. Oh, some chocolate. <laughs> some chocolate. See, how'd you miss it? And we're not going anywhere fast. So this is a nice, comfortable speed. We've been eating chips and salsa and baby Ruth's. Yep. Just chilling. Just having a blast. I'm able to actually relax because. Yeah, but you can go take a nap if you wanted to. There's no way I'd nap. No way. Too much excitement ahead. Yeah. Woohoo! This is beautiful. Oh, it's a drawbridge too. Never been over. Wow! Here. Look at this. I don't think I've ever been over this. I like how wide it is. Yeah. Look at that. So that's like the Puget Sound. That's like, man. Sun setting over there. This is really cool, huh? This is very cool. And we finally made it to the Crescent Beach RV Park. And it is ocean front. We haven't spent a lot of time on the Pacific Ocean since we moved here seven years ago. So this was a nice treat to be able to walk around and enjoy ourselves on our private beach. It's beautiful out here. There she goes. No. You're not a water dog, are you, T? She may not have liked the waves, but she likes the driftwood and there was plenty of it. Of course, we had to go check out Sadie Creek. So here we are. This is the gatekeeper. Okay. It is. Look at. Okay. Okay. Oh, whoa. Okay. Now, real, real slow. Come on, just like that. Keep real slow. Okay. Uh, real locker. Real slow, honey. Okay. Real. <laughs> No problem. And it's always fun to go through a gatekeeper for the first time to test your skills and check out the flex. Let's see what's next. We're going to go try and find a trail called Chaos. It looks, well, it looks chaotic. <laughs> All right. Chaotic. We found a paper map and we found Chaos. It is labeled as a double diamond difficulty trail. So we are going to walk so chaos. Are people to walk this trail? Okay, so first you just get over these tires. No biggie. Okay. So a big <coughs> log you come down. We got it here. Oh, this gets a little gnarlier. Are we getting gnarly this now? Gets a little gnarlier. Oh, that's a nice drop. Oh, that's a big. That's that's a big drop. That's a big. Oh, look ahead. Okay. We're getting gnarly now. Now we're now we're getting into oh shit. No, no. I mean we're having problems walking. Oh shit. Oh yeah, this gets gnarly. So that's Yeah, this this gets gnarly. That's Okay, I'm gonna let you go down there. I don't think I can get down that far, honey. Okay. I'd like to see what's around the corner there. Oh that fucking hurt. Look at that cut. Oh God! I mean, think how I don't even know how to get down on. Be right there, bug. How what? How off camber you would be right there. In you, I mean, your body's up against that dirt, or you're or you're rolling. That would, we of course we would rub against that. I mean, if you're coming into that, or you're 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 straddling that whole thing, and then having to try and pop down in there somehow. All right, I don't even know if I can get down this on feet. I guess I could jump that. Yeah, jump, jump to your right. Big jump though, bug. Okay. I did it. I did it. So I ventured further down chaos. Wasn't too many more difficult obstacles to see. So I just decided just to turn around and head on back. And then we would see the rest of the park. It just keeps going, babe. I don't want to leave you. Since we were the only ones in this entire park, we decided just to drive all the way to the end and see how beautiful it is. That is the straight to Juan de Fuca. 
absolutely beautiful. But at the very end, we found bones. Pretty sure those are dog bones, but let's go back to the beach. What are you gonna do with that? That's a pretty shell. Hey, can I have that? Hey. <laughs> hey, T. T, T, T. Not approved, not doggy approved. And look at this, the sun is setting. It's gorgeous out here. No one is around. Our motorhome's way back there. Gee, here comes a wave. Let's see if I can get her. <laughs> You're such a turd. So, T. Whose seat is this? Is this your seat? Okay, I just wanted to make sure. Cause uh, all this room, four, 40 we're, foot motorhome. Up, up, up. 40 foot motorhome back there. Two and beds, dog food, kitchen, and the tea is, Bucket <laughs> barely on the chair. But she's happy. She so we're back in the parking lot. I'm back in the Jeep. I got the trailer behind me, and we're heading home. It's been a great trip. Thanks for watching. I didn't even think about that. Issues.